Hello and welcome to this handmade jewelry making video. In this video I will show you how to make an anklet using a cowrie shell and some cord. Um, I will use two longer pieces of cord. So these pieces of cord will be about 25 centimeters long, 20 or 25 centimeters long. And then I will use another shorter piece of cord of about 15 to 20 centimeters long in order to make the sliding knot. Uh, as tools I will use a pair of scissors. And now let's begin making the uh, anklet. I will put the shorter cord away and I will take the... So our friend is again talking. I don't know exactly what he's saying. Rudolf? What are you doing there, Rudolf? <laughs> Rudolf, what are you doing there? doing it. <laughs> Do you want to let me make the anklet? So our kitten has studied what we were doing here and now that he knows what I was doing he left uh, well as people say curiosity killed the cat <laughs> so I hope that my kitten will not be so curious and that he will always be safe so as usual he is curious and he wants to know what I am doing Now let's uh, make the. Let's begin making the anklet. Um, in order to start making the anklet, I will take the cord and put it through the cowrie shell. Like this. And now that I have put the cord through the shell, I will make a knot. I will take one of the cords, put it over the other cord, like this, and create a loop. I will make the loop smaller, like this, and I will take the cord and put it through this loop like this. And I will tighten the loop. And this way I have created the first knot. Now I will do the same on this other side. I will put the cord through the shell like this and I will take one of the cords and put it over the other cord like this to create a loop like this 
and I will put the cord through the loop to create the knot. Like this. So as you can see, I now have a knot on each side of the shell. So that the shell doesn't move on these cords. Now I have made a knot at both ends of the anklet and I will also make a knot here at the end of the cord one knot here and another knot at the other end of the cord. Like this. So, I have two knots on both ends of the cowrie shell and I have a knot at the end of the cord here. And now, let's close the anklet I will superpose these two cords and I will take the third cord that I prepared for the sliding knot. In order to make the sliding knot I will superpose these two ends of the cord and I'll find the middle of the cord. I will put this cord under the two cords like this and I will make a knot here like this so I made a simple overhand knot let's see from a closer distance and now I will start making the sliding knot I will make a loop first of all on the right side then after I make the first knot, I will make the second loop on the left side, then I make another knot, then I again make a loop on the right side, and then on the left side. And I will continue making knots until there is no more cord. So let's see how I do that. So I make a loop like this, I put the cord from the right side over the two cords then I take the uh, cord on the left side put it over the cord that came from the right side and under the two cords here like this so under these two cords here and now I will take the cord and put it from below and take it out like this through the loop that I created and I make the first knot like this so as you can see we have made the first knot of the sliding knot now as I've told you before I will make another loop but on the left side then I take the cord from the right side put it over this cord put it under the two cords like this and then take it out through this loop this way like this and I have created the second knot of the sliding knot so I have two knots here and let's continue. I will make another knot on the right side again. I take the cord from the left side, put it over this cord and take it under the two cords 
to the right side. And now I will take it out through this loop here. And I made a third knot. Again I make a loop on the left side, put the cord over this other cord that I brought from the left side, under the two cords like this, and then I will take it out through this loop here. And I have the fourth knot. Now again I make a loop on this side and I take this other cord like this through the loop and make the knot. And I will continue making these knots until there is no more cord here. And now that I can no longer make knots because the cord is too short, I will just cut the cord. Like this. And to prevent these knots from opening, I will just take some glue and apply it on these two ends, like this. And now, I have now I have finished the anklet, the cowrie shell surf anglet and as you can see the only tool that I needed for this anglet was a pair of scissors and um, to make the anglet I only needed the shell and a bit of cord I will show you how to make <coughs> an anglet using a metal link I will use this link in the shape of a feather and um, in order to make the anklet, I will also use some black cord, nylon cord, a lobster claw clasp to close and open the anklet, some jump rings, these two fold over connectors will be used for the end of the cords and also some crimps these crimps as tools I will use some scissors a lighter for the cords and also a pair of pliers, chain nose pliers and a jump ring opener for the metal parts. Now let's begin by measuring the length of our cords. So as you can see I have two nylon cords and they have a length of about nine inches so um, I will put about nine inches of cord and nine inches would be about 23 centimeters so I will use two pieces of nylon cord that have around 9 inches, that is 23 centimeters. 
the first step will be to take the ornament, the connector, and I will put the nylon cord through the connector. The connector will be in the middle of our uh, anklet, like this. Now I have folded the nylon cord this way and I will take one of those crimps and put the nylon cord through the crimp. Like this, so I will put the nylon cords, both nylon cords, through the crimp like this. I'll find the middle of the cords this way, and I will and as you can see. Uh, I have pushed the crimp, let's see from a closer distance, and now as you can see the crimp is next to our connector, to the ornament of our uh, anklet. Now I will take the pliers and push on this crimp so that it presses on my cords this way. Like this. And as you can see, the cords no longer move. Now I will take the second nylon cord Now I will take the second nylon cord Again I will put it through the connector This way Now I will take the second crimp And put the cords through this crimp this way again I will try to find the middle of the cord like this and again my crimp is next to the connector here so I will not push it very close to the ring here because it might break the ring if I press too uh, hard on the crimp and it might press on this ring so I will grab the crimp so I have a bit of space between the crimp and the ring of the connector and I will press on the crimp like this so that my cords no longer move so as you can see next to my um, connector to my feather connector to the decoration of my anklet I have two crimps that block the cord so that the cord doesn't move so this will be the middle the central part of my anklet now I will take the end of my cords this way I will take one of those fold over connectors and I will put the my cords on the fold over connector like this I will take the pliers and press I will press with the pliers on the fold over connector so that it presses on my cords. Oh, 
on this side as well. In this way. And now uh, my fold over connectors press on the cord like this. Let's also do this on the other side. Again, I will take the fold over connector. I'll put the fold over connector on the cords and I will press on the fold over connector like this this way and now at both ends of my anklet I have these fold over connectors now at on these connectors I will put some jump rings. So I will take one of those jump rings. I will grab the jump ring with the pliers. I will take the jump ring opener and open the jump ring. I will put the jump ring through the connector like this. Now I will take the lobster claw clasp, put it on the jump ring. I will grab the jump ring and close. Like this. And now I have put the lobster claw clasp on one of the ends of my anklet and I will take the second jump ring grab it open it with the jump ring opener like this and I will put it like this on my fold over connector on the end of my anklet and close like this. and now I will close the anklet like this and let's see what the anklet looks like the finished anklet looks like. So as you can see this is my finished anklet. So this is the finished anklet. This will be the ornament, the connector of the anklet. And this is the closure of my anklet. I will show you how to create an anklet using a cowrie shell and some cord. As you can see I have a shorter bit of cord which I will use for the sliding knot. This one is about 20 15 to 20 centimeters long and I have another two cords that are a bit longer and they are for the anklet itself and these two cords are about 25 centimeters long um, 
In order to make this uh, surf anklet, um, I will take these two cords. First of all, I will superpose the cords and make a knot at the end of these cords. Like this. So I have made a knot here and now I will mark the middle of the uh, anklet and I will make another knot at about this distance here. Like this. So I have made two knots, one at the end and one about in about the middle of the cord. And now I will put the shell in between these two cords like this. Let's see from a closer distance. So exactly next to this knot, to prevent the shell from moving left to right, I put the shell and as you can see one of the cords is below the shell on this side of the shell and the other cord is in the ridge of this shell on the other opposite side of the shell. And now I will make these two cords cross inside of this shell so that the shell does not fall off. So I am going to take one of the cords and put the cord through the shell like this. So the shell that was on the cord here above the cord will go through the shell and come out on the other side through this hole. And I have the other cord that was on the lower part of the shell here and I will put this cord that was on this side here through the shell and make it come out on the upper side of the shell. So let's put the cord like this and take it out on the upper side of the shell. And now what do we have here? As you can see the two shells have crossed here inside of the shell. And now let's pull on the two threads. As you can see, the two cords are crossing inside here, inside the shell, so that the shell doesn't fall out. And to prevent the shell from sliding in this direction here, because it could move like this, you see, and to make it, to stop it from moving in this direction, we shall make another knot here. So in order to make a knot, I will take one of the cords, put it over the other cord and take it out here, on this side here. And now I will put the cord through the loop that I have created. And I am creating the sliding, the knot that I wanted to create. Like this. And now as you can see, I have created the knot on this side and I've also made a knot on this other side. So our shell is flanked by two knots. This way it cannot move left and right on the cord. And now, after I have created one knot here at the end, two knots to flank the shell, I will also make a knot, a fourth knot, here at the end of our cord.
like this. So we have a knot at both cord ends and now let's create the sliding knot so that we can put the anklet on the ankle and take it off. So I will put the cords like this, one over the other, as you can see here, and I will take the shorter bit of cord that I was planning to use for the sliding knot, I fold it like this, and I find the middle of the cord. And like this I have put the cord with the middle point under these two cords and I will make a simple overhand knot. So I cross the cords like this, take the cord out through here and make the first knot like this. And now I will create loops. I will create loops once on the right side, then on the left side, then on the right side, then on the left side, and with by means of these loops I will create the knots of our sliding knot. So let's see how we make this sliding knot. I create the first loop on the right side. The thread on the, the cord on the left side will be put over the cord that came from the right side and underneath these two cords, like this. And now I will take the cord out through this loop here. And I will close the knot like this. Now I will make a loop on this other side, put the cord over this cord, take it under the two cords and out through the loop like this and I make the second knot. So as you can see I already made two knots. Again I make a loop on the right side put the cord from the left side over the first cord and take it out underneath these two cords like this and take it out through the loop. And again I will make a loop on the left side, bring the cord from the right side over the first cord, under the two cords here, like this, and take it out through this loop. And now I will tighten the knot and I have made another knot like this. And I will continue making knots until there is no more cord here. Like this and these two cords are now too short to uh, be able to make a new knot so I will cut the cord. Like this. And to prevent it from um, opening, to prevent the knot from opening, I will simply take some glue and stick the two knots here. And now Now as you can see our anklet is ready. So as you can see here we only needed one shell and some cord. And to make the anklet I crossed the two cords inside of the shell so that it doesn't fall out and I made a knot at each end of the shell so that the shell doesn't move 
uh, to the left or to the right on our cord. At the ends of our uh, anklet I made a knot and I also created a sliding knot so that we can close and open our anklet. And the only tool that we needed to make this uh, jewelry item was a pair of scissors. So if you are a beginner and you want to uh, learn how to make handmade jewelry, you can begin with a simple um, anklet like this, where you only need a pair of scissors.